Do you have a cat? No. Do you have cat hair? Yes. And this video is for you. Crafting with the cat hair. Watch your haters wonder why. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another So Sorry Commentary. I'm your host, Eric, and this we got these two idiots with us. I was hoping to have this video out a little bit sooner, but it's been a little bit crazy around here lately. This week, we're looking at some very weird shit. Uh, you've seen the title already, so you know what it is. Uh, we're diving deep into the creepy phenomenon of crafting with the cat hair. There's not much more we can say without getting into some videos, so let's just fucking do it. Uh, now, I had originally wanted to do this idea... Uh, because I was on one of my favorite websites, The Useless Web. Uh, you go to it, you click the please button, brings you to a random website, usually pretty cancerous. That's pretty much what happened to me this time. Click the button, ended up over here looking at crafting with cat hair. Uh, cute handcrafts to make with your cat. I, I don't think your cat's helping you make them. I'm pretty sure you're just making them out of the cat. The good thing about Amazon is that you can actually look inside the book. And you can see how ridiculous this whole concept actually is. So yeah, here we go. Front cover. Crafting a cat hair. Look at this. He's not looking too happy about that. Long-term benefits. Cats are naturally eco-friendly and also so are cat hair crafts. These crafts are not recommended for people with cat allergies. I wonder why. I wonder why. Surprise. Cat. Just a fucking cat. That's all you need. Uh, he doesn't look happy to be a part of this project, to be honest. Um, I bet you if there was a Kickstarter, he would not fund it. So this is how you make the finger puppet out of cat hair. Here's the materials here. Uh, there's a cat, as you can see. They got some thread, some beads, you know, some cardboard, whatever. But then this is where it gets weird. There's like glue, tape, plastic wrap. What are they going to do to this cat, really? Like... This kind of seems like one of those meat operations, you know, where they like pick cats up off the street and like lure them in uh, so they can make their sadistic fucking crafts out of them. So I found cat crafting or cat hair crafting through Amazon and then I decided to go deeper into the realm of it. And there is a lot of fucking videos about this shit. So let's just go through the weirdest ones. Hey, Internet, come in here and you're watching witchcrafting. Why is it gotta be witchcrafting? That's kind of like making a hat out of someone's own dandruff. You know what I mean? Or, or it's kind of like Leatherface in a way. Like if you're looking at this from the perspective of a person who doesn't make crafts out of someone else's skin, this definitely looks fucking weird. This cat does not look excited to be a part of this. None of these cats so far have looked like they want to be involved in this. Right. I'm making a cat hat for my cats out of cat fur. Let's get I, I like how forced that was. We're making a cat hat for my cats with the cats, and there's a cat, and there's too many cats. And <laughs> All right, as usual, I like to research before I try it. And hey, that's what I'm doing. That makes these adorable f***ing hats for their cats has a pretty informative video on how they do it on their Instagram page. God, I'm sure it's going to be awful. Okay, let's just get to it. Let's just get to some other shit. Like, what? You gotta harvest? You gotta harvest the cat? I would understand this a little bit more if they didn't use these fucked up terms like they're eating the animal afterwards, you know? Like, I'm gonna harvest you for your fur. God, this channel, how does this fucking have a million views on this, honestly? Imagine just going to your friend's house and they just have bags and bags of their cat's fucking hair all over the place. Not only is cat hair, like, pretty unsanitary after it comes off, it's filled with dandruff and, like, dirt. And you probably took it off the floor, most likely. Scraped it up from the inside of your vacuum cleaner so you could make this thing. Let's see this part. This is, this is where it gets great. Yeah, I'm sure he's loving that. And he's terrified of it. Because it's his own fucking skin. Don't... Don't wear it. Get I I uh, I I appreciate you so much. Yeah. He he's like you need to fucking stop. He doesn't want it. He doesn't want to be a part of whatever you're doing right now. Stop. Yeah, you couldn't even put it on his head, so you had to put it on his body. God, that's gross. I'm going to have this thing. 
Totally normal. It's not! You're fucked. Alright, fuck this one. Dishwasher detergent. A towel. An iron thing. An iron thing. Get your favorite cat. Doesn't matter what it is. That's not a cat. That's a that's an abominable snowman doll. See these these bags filled with cat hair. It's freaking me out. I don't like this. I don't like it. I wish I didn't have to make this video. Next week, I'm going to cover something I, I love instead of something that makes me cringe internally. So essentially, they're just doing the same thing that all the other videos did, but much with much shittier production quality and much shittier lighting. Also, she's playing fucking childish in the background. I'm going to have to take that shit out because it's not copyright claimed. Yeah, bitch. This is nonsense, though. It's just it just goes on forever. All right. We've seen some crazy shit, but this is where it gets crazy. We're really gonna get into it now. Danell German owns three Persians. Crazy, Chloe, and Monica. Of course, one of their names is Crazy. It's not unusual for cat owners to shave their Persians. You know, I would consider myself to be a pretty big cat advocate. You know, I'm a cat person. I've had like nine cats over the years. In the summer and stuff like that, they sweat a lot and their fur gets real thick and long. And so they don't fucking overheat and die. You do need to shave them a little bit. To be honest, I think what we should be doing with that hair is giving it to these hairless freak cats because they clearly need the fur more than the people do. I mean, look at this golem type creature. Look at this depraved ass cat. It shit looks like it's the slums of Brazil, just fucking dying. If it's famished. It needs fur. Look at, this is unnatural. Like, this is what we should be doing with the cats. We should be taking the Persian cat hair and just fucking gluing it to these cats. That's not weird either. Don't worry about that. I figured out how to spin the cat hair and turn it into... God, that is some medieval shit. You're on a... Now decided to make a handbag out of leftover fur from one of her client's Persians. And that looks so bad! God damn it, that looks fucking awful. It, it kind of looks like two very stale pieces of bread with with a Brillo pad in the middle. Words to express how she felt about it. She was in tears over it. Yeah, I would be in tears over it too. If someone gave me that as a gift, I'd be pissed. This is how much you love me? I would leave the family if someone gave me this as a gift. Also, do they, these look like creepy ass eyes from Furby dolls. First bag led to Danelle's dog and fur handbag business. Dog and fur, Jesus Christ. They all look like shit. That one looks like a fucking brain. What's this? For people all across the United States, in Canada, and also in England. Yeah, keep your shit out of Canada. I don't need this kind of negativity in my life. You need to keep your garbage ass products out of my country. We don't want them. First, the cat is thoroughly washed. Some like it, some don't. Yeah, they mostly some probably and fucking give don't. Like and then given a blow dry. He kind of like, he, at least they look happy during that part though. The one great part about making this video is that I get to watch videos of cats. But the one bad part about this video is that I have to watch the fucking owners who cut their hair off and then make hats out of them. Then I'll admit some people may find the idea a little odd. Hey, it's me. I was thinking of cats, uh, pets, not a handbag. Not a handbag. Don't exploit animals. Yeah, it doesn't creep me out at all. Yeah, it does, bud. $45 to $400. I wouldn't pay four cents for this piece of shit, let alone 400 fucking dollars. Working, slaving, going to your job, getting up at 8 a.m. and shit, spending your check on this garbage. What is that? These people are all obsessive. All right, so my final thought on this whole fucking thing is like, all right, you know what? I love cats. I love dogs. They're in the same vein as this bullshit. There's also dog hair sweaters. Uh, you can check that out. I'll probably put a link in the description. If you want to have a million fucking cats, you know, get a million cats. It doesn't matter. Get as many cats as you fucking want. No one cares. You don't need to go to this excessive ass length to prove that you love your animal. Someone could just turn... When I die, if someone wants to turn my beard hair into a sick, like, coin purse, that would be cool. Like, actually, that would be kind of cool. Uh, I know I just talked shit on this product for like the last 10 minutes, but if someone wants to do that out of my beard hair when I die, that'd be pretty tight. Um...
So tune in next time when I show you the craft I made for my fucking hair.